Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh, and let's see how we can answer this question. This question is a very tricky question, okay? And how to answer? Let's see that. What is a key advantage of a robotic enterprise framework? Okay, what is the key advantage of a robotic enterprise framework dispatch a process using queues? And this is a very tricky question because the options are given and most of us will go wrong. We might select a wrong answer. So let me read the first option. Each queue item is added to the queue by the same robot that will process that queue item. Is it the, is, are we just using, are, do we have the ability to use only one robot? Absolutely no. So this is absolutely wrong answer. So before we go through all this, this won't make sense until unless we have a complete idea about what is a dispatcher process. Okay. So let me quickly help you. Okay. Let me quickly help you to give you certain documentation where we can find the right answer. Okay. So I am into the introduction to robotic enterprise framework on UiPath Academy. And here I have clicked the topic, the dispatcher and performer producer and consumer model okay so this is what you need to come and here i am going to show you a couple of documentations okay okay let me first of all highlight one of the very important sentence look at this it involves an orchestrator queue which is populated with data by an automation then the transactions are consumed by another automation so what is the meaning so you are creating a dispatcher process whose job is to collect data from various data sources and then passing all those data to the queue that will be known as a dispatcher see it is collecting all the data from various data sources it could be one data source or it could be multiple data sources and once you have all the data and organized right once it is all organized then I am trying to pass the data to the queue. So this passing the data from the source to the queue, this entire model is known as dispatcher model. And for that you are creating, creating, a, creating an automation for that. So you are creating a separate workflow on your UAPA studio just to do this process, to fetch the data, you are getting text, you are getting, you are trying to pull the data uh, from various applications let's say there are three applications so from all the three applications you are trying to pull the data and then you might be using an excel file to organize the data and then you are going to push the data right you are going to push the data to the queue right add queue item add bulk queue item using those activities you are pushing the data to the queues so that that process that workflow that you have created to push the data to the orchestra queue will be known as dispatcher okay this understanding should be very very clear then the transactions are consumed by another automation so you are you are using the re framework where you are getting the data from the queue and you are processing the data so that specific workflow of re framework you can name it as performer so there is a dispatcher we are creating a separate process and performer you are creating a separate so this sentence should be very very clear okay data and automation then the transactions are consumed by another automation so this is the automation this is another automation okay so dispatcher and performer so once you have this clarity let's proceed further okay that clarity is very much required the dispatcher process the dispatcher process pushes transaction items to an orchestrator queue. We understood this is the main objective. It extracts data from one or multiple sources. So it can pull from either one source or from multiple sources. That means it can pull either from one application or maybe from multiple applications. It is pulling the data and you are organizing the data and then sending it to the queue. And uses the same to create queue items for performer robots to process okay so it is pushing it to the queue so that the performer can consume it from this queues the, look at this information is pushed to one or more queues following the dispatcher to use common format so this common format because in the queue we are pushing the similar format of data 
use a common format for all data stored in queue items. So for a specific queue, we are maintaining a common format. Let's say I need A, B, C, three column data. In this, I need some five to six column data. So I'm creating a separate queue. So in given queue, I'm maintaining a common format. So this is understood. Now with this word, and if you read this, you might get, you might select a wrong answer. Let's read now, okay. So the option number one, each queue item is added let's read this okay each queue item is added to the queue by the same robot that will process that queue item okay now am i going to use only one robot not necessary i can have from one queue i can use multiple robots to pull the data and process it for me i don't have to have a single robot look at this a major advantage of the performer is its scalability uh, scalability multiple performance can be used with a single queue getting it so that option itself is wrong when it says same robot okay this is not correct let's read the second option ensures all data is in a similar format so half of the sentence is actually correct because in a queue i have to maintain a common format and that it can only be added to one queue ensures all data is in similar format and that can that can only be added to one queue not one queue i can have multiple queues let's say one similar data i am adding it to one queue another set of data i can add it to another queue if i need some other set of data so the one queue this is a confusing point many might go here thinking yeah that's right no in, in one queue i have to maintain it's not about one queue having one similar format i can have multiple queues with multiple formats right depending on my need i can create even i can have the similar format for one queue same format for another queue depending on my need i can modify it i can choose what i need okay so this may not this is not the right answer let's read the third one getting it you are able to differentiate because the answers would appear very you know no uh, accurate so you might go and choose a wrong one so let's see what is the best best answer out of all this better error handling while extracting data from multiple sources so while i'm pulling data from multiple sources in the dispatcher right when i'm so i can have better uh, mechanism let's say i can have a lot of try catch blocks because i can build my own logic while I'm pulling the data from each application and every application requires its own specific logic to you know to uh, pull those data from applications so here I can have better error handling capacity right so I do if I mix the performer and dispatcher in one workflow it will be it will be very difficult so now having a dispatcher as a separate automation it gives me capability of even using the error handling mechanism available on UI path and I can better handle those errors while I'm pulling the data. So this is correct and adding it directly to the queue. So this answer is the best fit. Many might even go for this, which is a wrong answer. The best answer is this or the, uh, the right answer is this. Fourth one, ease of, ease of use because the robotic enterprise framework template is a dispatcher by default. No, this is wrong. This is entirely wrong. Okay. These are the two confusing answers. And this is the right answer because here it is saying one queue. This is not one queue. I can create multiple queues. So reading all the options, this is the right answer. Okay. So you have to go with this answer. I hope the explanation must have given you a lot more sense as to why this could be a right answer. So thank you guys for watching it. We are going to come up with more such interesting conceptual contents where you may not find an answer anywhere. And I will try my best to give you the uh, logical points uh, either through a documentation or from UiPath Academy so that you find confidence while choosing that answer. So thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.